for the University of Oregon, and seven of those years have been 20-plus wins, and the Ducks, who had a seventh-place finish in the Pac-12 a year ago, higher expectations than that, and we are underway as the Ducks control the opening tap. They will move from right to left across your ESPN Plus TV screen. With the ball is Chance Gray. They throw it in low, and that's the big, thick, six foot eight power. And Filipina Che on cue puts it up with the left hand over the outstretched arms of Olivia Lane and gives the Ducks a 2 0 lead. Callie Cooper inching her way into the front court. Lopes in the first two games have had to play a lot of half court sets. The transition has not necessarily gotten going, but that's what happens when you're transitioning with several starters that are new and six incoming transfers and two of those playing catch out front. Callie Cooper and Trinity San Antonio. Four on the shot clock, and it's Cooper straight away for three. That's off the back of the iron, but there is TSA. Trinity San Antonio sneaking in between two ducks to get an offensive board and a second chance at their opening bucket. Evans in the lane for Lane. She'll turn around, pump it up from 14. In and out, stays out, and there's Che, who is averaging a double-double so far on the season, and 11 rebounds in the win over Arkansas Pine Bluff last week. The drive by Grace Van Sluten. She got the first step on Tierra Brown, and Tierra found It was a good test in the opener, size-wise for the low, but they can sport just as much size. Their initial bucket of the night, and we played nearly two minutes. Trinity San Antonio dribbling around. Lopes not in a flow offensively at all. Shot clock at nine. And Evans, as she came around to screen, Lane set it but didn't stay set. And that will be an off. Had eight three-pointers in the exhibition game against Benu. Inside Che, just muscling her way on Fano, but it's San Antonio coming from the weak side to make the steal. Comes down with Van Sluten to beat, and she'll beat her. Tia. And that's it right there, the size. You're going to see Che and her right down at the block, and they're going to get it to either one of them. Gray fires a three, and that finally, and then down looking for only their second field goal of the night. We played nearly six minutes. Osley in the corner for three, misses everything. And again, the Lopes now three straight times they have come down and fired up air balls. So you can tell they are tight and a half. And there's a nice steal out front by Anna Osley. Here she comes. There she goes. That's a good way to make sure. And just like that, Basham going over the top on the chance. Gray missed. Five turnovers already, just six and a half minutes in. We just talked about it as one of the, throughout the season, throughout two games so far. Beaverton, but then went their separate ways. Sydney going to ASU in Tempe. And Laura over at USD. Osley's three won't go, but there's one of the Eric strips. That's Laura fighting her way for the rebound. And then it's taken away by Basham. And their last two chances to beat a Pac-12 squad. History is what they want to make. Basham, 90 seconds left to go in this slow-moving first quarter. But the Lopes wouldn't mind having to go to the second because this one hasn't been a good one so far. Evans retrieving out front around to Eric Sip's screen. She'll pump it up from 10, and she'll get it from 10. 9-6, San Antonio steps in the passing lanes, gets the steal, gets the wheel, gets the deal. TSA continuing to fill that stat sheet. Four points, already three rebounds, and now two steals. Van Sluten on the drive. Eric Sip strays with her. Give her out front. Open look. High arching three by Gray is no good. And likewise, the Ducks are not hitting from the perimeter either. They're 0 for 4 from three-point range. And that's their ninth miss in 11 shot attempts. Now the Lopes trying to milk as much clock as they can. There's four seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And they have a chance to get their first lead of the game. San Antonio to the right side for Evans. Has to throw it out front for Erickstrom. Shot clock at five. Osley to San Antonio. Dribble drive. Throw it inside. And just getting it up, but can't get the shot to go as Laura Erickstrom. Two seconds, one second. Williams will fire it from backcourt. And that almost went. As the Lopes start the second quarter with the basketball. Still searching the show went for their viral first lead. Social media Shea being Fama. recognized by, um, by ESPNW and featured in Sports Center top 10 plays. When speaking to GCULopes.com, Evans expressed that this shot is without a doubt her favorite shot she's made in her career. And the Lopes have their first lead of the night, and it comes 30 seconds into quarter number two. Grace Van Sloot, open look, 15-footer. That falls off the front of the iron. Oregon now 2 of 12.
from the field. The Lopes, 5 of 18. And Ashisra now running the show as the backup point guard, wearing number two on the front and back of her purple jersey. She and Osley are the guards. T Trinity San Antonio now with the ball. She can play the point. She can play the two. She can play the three. She sometimes can play the four. That one trickles out of her hands, goes to Brown. Give it to San Antonio. Two on the shot clock. Has to force the shot, and she'll get it. To go. Lopes in the midst of a 9-0 run as we play in the second minute of quarter number two. Outside, Sophia Bell. Nice lob inside, and the muscle-up shot is good. Off the hands of Sarah Rambis, the six foot three freshman from Flint, Michigan, who just checked in at the end of the quarter. Tierra Brown sees daylight. High arching eight footer, that's too hard off the glass. And Oregon limiting the, the Lopes to just one shot. Coming down with a chance to tie. Yo yoing the ball out front is Kennedy Williams. Far corner, lob inside, bell to Van Sluten. Two different defenders, but it didn't bother Grace as she puts it up and puts it in. Trinity San Antonio somehow on that pass that was way over her head, saves it. Straw out front, puts it up for three. That would have brought the house down. But what a play by San Antonio to put the brakes on and stay in bounds. That looked like a football play right there. Toe inside, test. Inside, Gray banged around. Gray to the line, attempt their eighth free throw in the first 13 minutes. We'll bring them down with a chance to take the lead again. We mentioned GCU lifetime 0-7 against the Pac-12. Against the WAC, Oregon is an impressive 16-2. And, and Eric Strip a little bit jumpy. Nearing the midpoint of this second quarter, it's been a back-and-forth affair. Oregon's largest lead, five. Lopes' largest lead, four. Leap and leaner by Van Sluten is good. 6-3 against 6-1. Van Sluten has it roll off, and the rebound. Che, can she save it? Yes, she can. Athletic play by the six foot eight center from Calgary, Alberta. And now on the give and go, here's Che to the hoop. Puts it up with both hands. Che's second field goal, and it's a 9-0 run by the Ducks. Eric Strupp trying to end it, but the three's too hard. And Gray in good position to pull down the defensive board. Gray will let everybody get in place, especially Filipina Che, as they lob in, but they converge. Srock got a hand on the ball, but couldn't get the steal. Three-pointer is missed. Long rebound comes out. Evans is banged. Here's Sra again. Comes around to Fano screen. Stop back for Shea. Shea can't do anything with it. Shot clock at eight as Sra moves around. Eric Strip thought about the three, but fumbled the ball. Give it to Brown. She'll pump it up from 15. She'll get it from 15. A great move right there. A little cross step into the back. Puts that one away. That stopped a four-minute drought on the offensive side by the Lopes. They trail by three. Low block pass for Sluton. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but Neto. Moving in on Basham with three, with two. Got to get rid of it. And that pass out front intercepted by Gray on Evans. And Gray will get an uncontested layup. The Ducks' defense was anticipating all over the floor. And it's the largest lead of the night for Oregon. They lead by a touchdown. And the Lopes really disheveled offensively. Brown out for Fano. Thought about the three. Passes it up. Now for Brown with nine. She'll drive. She'll put it up from eight. She'll get it from eight. Credit to Tiara Brown because she's looking good with that pull-up right there. That was a foul on Sydney Erickson. That's her second, only the third team foul. Here's a three by Sophia Bell on cue to see how they want to run this play and take as much time off the clock as possible. She wants the last shot and the best one if possible. Bell backing off of her. Now with seven, now with six. Around a double screen. Evans, open look. Eight footer good. Naughty Evans with two field goals on the day. Both of them from that range. And Oregon will not get a shot off. Oregon with a six point lead. And the Ducks will inbound the ball with the same five that started the game. Sophia Bell, Kennedy Williams, and Chance Gray in the backcourt. Grace Van Sluten in the six foot eight. Philly Che in the middle and there is the aforementioned Che setting a pick putting up the shot didn't get it and Tierra Brown with great defense had her hands in her, in Che's face to bother her enough to miss that shot now the Lopes, Lopes need to convert some on their own Brown started to warm up in that second quarter wanted to drive there and then lost the ball both these teams had combined two of 17 from three-point range that's got whoever starts warming up there is probably going to take control. 
Here's San Antonio with five on the shot clock. Inside, Brown driving, has it knocked away. Nice play by Kennedy Williams with the alert hands and forces the turnover. Williams in the corner. Open look, Bell. She'll fire a three, but that's off the back of the iron. The six foot three Van Sluten able to save it. Nice play as she does so to Chance Gray. Van Sluten gets it back, tries, puts it up, won't go, but she goes. And a couple of steals. Van Sluten to the line, 24 free throws a game. And Van Sluten makes one, and the lead is back out to seven. Oregon's led by as many as eight. Brown shot, open look from the free throw line, but can't bury it. Quickly down the middle is Williams. Off for Van Sluten. She'll drive. Leap and leader from six too hard. But there's Che. Right place, right time. Can't get the first follow, but does get the second. And check that. During that stop and play, Shefano checked in. And she sets a nice screen out front so the TSA can go down the runway. And San Antonio's lay-in makes it a 28-21 Oregon lead inside is Che off for Van Sluten and the Twin Towers moving in on Che keeps coming keeps coming she'll put up the shot it won't go rebound down to the floor and Che scoops it up good defense that time by Philly and Oregon threatening to take the first double digit lead of the night here is Williams passes up the three in for Che knocks down Fano no harm no foul and this time it's Brown to take the charge that's a tough thing about it. You go from A to B, that's a blocking foul. It's too hard. Now San Antonio wants to run. Stop. Can't find anybody. Has to give it to the trailer Brown. Here's Fano. Gets the first step on Jay. Throws up a wild shot. Goes down and gets what she... The quietest you will hear this... This, this arena gets... Fano can't convert the second, so it's an eight-point Ducks lead. We played three minutes here in this third quarter. Lob in Che. Che bumps into Fano and again gets no call. It'll be a non-shooting foul as Basham comes in, and the Lopes have struggled with her as well. Inbound to Brown. Starts left, keeps coming, and now she draws. Tierra's first free throw, not good. And the low 20 minutes has cooled them a bit. Brown converts the second free in this third quarter. And a bit more aggressive, you could say, nonetheless, coming from the Lopes, coming out of this second half. Bell left alone and makes some pay in the corner as the was sagging in on Basham after the Ducks had beaten the press. Largest lead of the game. Ducks lead by a dozen. Tierra Brown off for Naughty Evans. Almost went into her bench. She's able to save it. 14 to get a shot off. Lopes just trying to solve this interior Oregon defense. Brown backs up, fires a three! So Oregon will get the ball back. But Brown trying to make a difference on both sides of the floor. Here's Basham. Miles from the hoop. Out front for Gray. Waits for a Basham screen. Osley now in there with a the defensive assignment. Down to six, now five. Here's Van Sluten, sees the clock. She'll drive, force up a shot, count if it goes. The floor in double figures at the moment with 10. First free throw is good. But Van Sluten continuing to be aggressive on the offensive side. San Antonio, Fano, Evans, Brown, and Anna Osley. That's the five on the floor for Molly Miller. San Antonio now out duels herself as she started left, went right, but shuffled. And Sophia Bell is the five on the floor for Kelly Graves. Shot too hard off the back of the iron by Gray. San Antonio with a rebound. Sets up Fano for three. Using the long ball to stay in this one in the third. They're heating up, Jim. Exactly what they wanted coming into this second half. Van Sluten drawing the defense and finding the open Basham underneath. Looking up at the scoreboard at this tough Oregon Ducks team. Here's Anna Osley. They have not been able to get her on track out front. Here is Tierra Brown. Fake the shot. Drive on Basham. Reverse on the shot, but it won't go. And Basham made her change it. Yeah, this 2-3 defense is definitely giving the Lopes a little bit of a struggle. Nice give and go, and it leads to an open layup by Van Sluten as both Lopes stayed out on the perimeter. And Van Sluten continuing. To make a big difference, she leads all scorers with 14 points. And this equals Oregon's biggest lead at 41-29.
Here is Brown. She'll square. She'll fire. She'll get for three. So the Lopes, one of ten, three-point shooting at halftime. And since then, no problem. Three out of three. Brown with two of them. Fano with the other one. But it's still something that has been insurmountable as far as trying to chip away at this lead. And a reach-in foul makes Trittany San Antonio slump the shoulders in disgust. And she's going to have to head to the bench. Now with her third personal foul, both sh and make it her fourth. And it comes with three and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. So that is a huge blow for the Lopes on both sides of the ball. Van Sluten off for Gray, and that'll be an offensive foul. And you can't do that. So a charging foul will be called on Van Sluten. Each team now out of fouls for the remaining three and a half minutes of this third quarter. Evans in the land of the Giants. Finds an open look, and that's all she needed. Eight-footer. Here's Gray coming around to Van Sluten's screen. Being covered in a switch by Evans. Shot from 15. Won't go by Basham. She obviously didn't see the switch. Lopes get away with it. Here's Asha Sra in there at point guard. She'll kick it in the corner. Open look. Final for three. And here come the Lopes. 8-0 run. Lopes are within four. Exactly what they needed. They are heating up right now. Another pick and roll, but this time the help defense came from Sra. Both she and Kennedy Basham go down. Nevertheless, Basham, who was a perfect four for four from the line in the first half, heading there for the first time in the second half. And for the game, they're nine out of 15. Sra slows it up as she crosses the time stripe. Off for Brown. Trying to get the quickness advantage on Van Sluten, but drives underneath Van Sluten and Grace blocks it and controls the loose ball. Nice play by Van Sluten, the six foot three sophomore from Toledo. Van Sluten top of the key. She'll put up a 15 footer. That's off the mark and it's tracked down on the side by GCU's Nadia Evans. Lopes want to run. Here's Sra down the left side. Scoop it for Osley. Out front Fano. Good ball movement by the Lopes. Evans alone for three. Minute 45 left to go third quarter. This is the loudest the Lopes have been all night. Che over the top. Right there is Van Sluten. Wave it off. Offensive foul. Here's Sra way out front for Tiara Brown. They play catch out front. Hand off Evans. Fake the three. Looking for room. Kick in the corner. Fano has the three-pointer. I think partially blocked by Che and controlled underneath. Sarah Rambis is in there replacing Van Sluten. She got the board. She sets up inside. She's covered on a switch by Sra. Allows Kennedy Williams to drive. Throws it in the opposite corner. Bell, now Che. Che force up the shot. No. Gets her own rebound. Follows. It'll count. It goes in, and she's fouled on the play. Watch her go after her own boards. That's exactly why you go for your own boards. Che trying to convert the three-point play, which she does. Under a minute left to go in this third quarter. It's been a good one for the home team. Osley can't get an open look. Now inside pass. Brown fake. Fake again. Put it up. No. Wanted the foul on Che. Couldn't get it. About eight seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So the Ducks can't run it all the way out. Gray open look around the screen. Won't go. Long rebound though to Che. And the shot clock reset. Still only about seven seconds difference. But Gray will slow it up and try and use as much as she can. Osley giving her room. Shot clock down to six, now five. Comes around a Rambis screen, drives all the way in, puts up a high arching shot, won't go, but she draws personal foul number four on the Lopes Tierra Brown for this last 10.2 seconds. Meanwhile, Gray at the line, first free throw good. Both free throws good by Gray. Didn't play in the opener, although she did play a couple of minutes in North Dakota. Sra all the way down and then tries to outlet it out front, and it's stolen away by Williams. Two seconds, one second, she won't get a shot off. But Oregon, after seeing their 12-point lead, fourth quarter underway. Thank you, Gabby, and let's hope that Lopes fans will have a win to cheer. The Lopes trail by seven. And if you remember, they came back from 22 down 10 days ago in the season over. Van Sluten on the pick and roll, moving to the hoop, gets the shot to go, and she'll have the three-point play opportunity that they need to most of the evening. All that, all that, I think that 
there's one thing that can solve this, and as tough as it is switching off of screens like that to, um, regarding the size difference between these two teams, is it just you have to do it anyways and then find a way to switch back. Shot by Fano in the lane on a nice pass from Sra, couldn't get it. So quickly, two team fouls on the Lopes in the first 30 seconds. And Oregon threatening to extend it to their largest lead again. They've led by a dozen a couple of times. Lob in Van Sluten. She's been the main force, but that time she can't get the little bunny to go. Inside, though, Che tipping it to herself, and she'll get free throws as once she gets the ball in her hand on the low block. It's tough sledding for the Lopes defense, six foot two at six one. And then you got Che at six eight. No fouls from her. She's shooting four from six from the field, nine points, and one from one from three. Fano, the leading scorer for the Lopes, make that Brown and Fano. And Fano trying to become the leading scorer, but the three pointer is off. And Che with 11. The two bigs making a dent. Gray with the drive inside, didn't have enough room. Evans, open look, fall away good. Smart. Now the Lopes need some defensive stops. Gray on the drive again. Again misses the lay in. She's upset with herself. San Antonio, lead pass, Osley. Beats chain to the hoop. They're going to need to make up eight points in the next seven minutes to do so as Oregon with the basketball. And the Lopes have to be a little bit more intentional on offense and not worry about getting shots blocked. Here's Van Sluten being covered by Olivia Lane. Out front, Bell. Pump up a three, way short. Rebounds half to the side. Basham had it for a minute, and then Lane from every single person on the floor right there, but especially Van Sluten getting that right hand on it and getting it right off the knee. 17 points to lead all scorers is what Van Sluten has done so far tonight. And trying to add to it on a great pass from Gray. And Van Sluten got behind it. And 19 points for Van Sluten to go along with eight boards. Well, 19 exactly how much he's been averaging through those first two games. San Antonio out front, Brown. Fake a pass, give it off to Osley for a long three, but that's off the mark. Lane battling with Basham. The lob to Van Sluten, double teamed, can't get the shot to go. Good defense by Lane. San Antonio comes out of it with it. To Evans, now to Osley, square and fire for three. It's flat, but right underneath is Lane, and Olivia Wolf. Lopes needs stops here. Driving is gray, stop and pop, and the 10-footer rolls around and won't go. Tough break as it went halfway down. San Antonio on the transition. Scissors through the defenders, can't get the shot to go. Been at a premium for GCU all night long. Two of five from the stripe, all of them coming after halftime. San Antonio salvages the second free throw. She's got nine points and nine boards, and they're gonna need more of her. As they go down the stretch, remember, both Heat, she and Brown playing with four fouls. Pass to Che, knocked away, retrieved by Gray. Comes around the screen. Van Sluten looks out for Bell. She's going to fire a three. She'll get a three. Bell with nine points, and all of them coming from long range. She is three for seven and has not taken a shot inside of the three-point line. Three, a little leap and leader by San Antonio won't go. And then on the scramble, San Antonio and Che, and Che is really upset. Inside, getting in front, saw that her layup was going to go a little far to the right, and then just tried to go up for it, but a little too much over the back right there from Che. Che is the first duck to have four personal fouls. Let's see if the Lopes try and work on that to try and get her out of there. Past the midpoint of the second or the fourth quarter. San Antonio bumps into Che, puts it up, it won't go, but draws personal foul number five. Philly Che is gone. Oh, and then no, it's actually called back. It's going to be on Williams. Wow. Che will stay in the game. And San Antonio again missing the front half of the two shot foul. The Lopes cannot catch a break when it comes to that line. And if you're Kelly Graves, you might be thinking, what's the best plan of action right here with Che and four? You can see the Lopes are getting a little more aggressive now as we come to the end of this game. They're trying to get Che out of here. Nine-point Ducks lead. They have the ball with four and a half left. Williams dribbling out front. Lo loops it inside. Van Sluten fumbled, and then her baseline jumper won't go. Tierra Brown with the ball. Straight down the middle. Coast to coast. All the way to the hoop. Shot won't go. Draws the foul. First free throw, good. Next free throw, not good, but San Antonio in there battling with Van Sluten. Regardless of what the outcome is, 
They're going to get this ball back. Quick pass. Here's Evans alone for three. <laughs> Naughty Evans on cue makes it a five-point game. And the Lopes fans starting to make some noise with 4.05 left. They did this in the third quarter. They got it within two. Can they do it again just with four minutes remaining? Bell to the cutting Williams through her hands. Intercepted by Brown. Comes down. Kicks for Evans. Alone three-pointer. No. And Gray comes up with a rebound. Brown goes down. Slow to get up. It's five on four for the moment. Brown hustles back. Lob in for Che. Working on Fano. Scoop it to the cutting Van Sluten and she'll score. And Van Sluten doing a masterful job. Here's Osley. Straight away for three won't go. She just has not been able to find the range. So now the Lopes have to have a stop here. Ducks want to use as much of the clock as they can. Tierra Brown covering Che. Che will force up the shot, won't go. Good defense by Brown. San Antonio wants to run. Evans stutter step. Stop at the free throw line. Bounce pass in the corner for Brown. Wants to work on Che. Gets her up in the air. Drives to the hoop shot, won't go. But a whistle and a foul. And Tierra Brown bound from the free throw line. That was left to Sophia Bell, who picked up her second foul. First free throw by Brown, not good. To get in front of Che. And you know they will be matching up on Che and Van Sluten. Van Sluten now in a switch, going to bring the ball out of backcourt. Covered by Tierra Brown, who has to be careful. She's got four personal fouls, and Kelly Graves didn't like the offensive set. Van Sluten will inbound it near midcourt. And Williams gets the ball in backcourt. Ducks can take it under a minute if they take care of the basketball. Evans almost came up with the steal. Gray. With the shot clock at 10, gives it to Che way out front. They want to clear it for Van Sluten, but the turnaround jumper is short. And Tierra Brown comes down. Lopes need a good shot here, under a minute. Brown stutter step, stop, fake. Now can't get room. Throws it out for San Antonio. Now for Naughty Evans. Clock continues to tick with 43 seconds. Around a lane screen. Stop, can't give it back to lane. Instead, pumps up a shot, won't go. And it's Chance Gray with a rebound. And things starting to look good for the Ducks. And now the Lopes have to foul. So the Lopes now have to foul or get a steal. And they're not doing either at the moment. And Molly Miller saying foul, but Trinity San Antonio has four fouls. There's not enough time. And so whoever's closest, because Gray knew that San Antonio was on her with four fouls. Both teams have struggled from the line, but Gray making both free throws now five of six from there. So a little bit of an easy tour for them, I guess. Osley, she'll fire up a three. That one go, won't go. Down to Eric Strip. Now for Evans. Evans will put up a three. That's off the mark. Rebound fought for. Goes to the side for Osley. Osley will force up a three. It won't go, but she's fouled on the play. Kennedy Williams will send Osley to the line. Next free throw in and out and back in. She's trying to make it a five point Oregon lead and does. So now Williams will inbound it to the left of her own bench. Looking, lobs it for Van Sluten. She just wants to hold the ball. Gets rid of it for Williams. And finally, the Lopes will foul. Two free throws will likely finish this. And the first free throw is not good to try and box out for the, fr for the rebound. The free throw, good. Everybody that's on the floor can shoot the three. Evans looking, waiting, has to hurry, finally gets it into Osley. Osley's going to fire one that's blocked, and that's how it's going to end. So Oregon is going to go to 17-2 lifetime against the Western Athletic Conference. They were a perfect 2-0 last year, including a win over eventual WAC champ Southern Utah. And Gray makes both free throws, and the Lopes will now fall to 0-8 against the Pac-12 as Brown puts it up. Shot will not go, and the comeback falls short as Oregon able to hold serve. Lopes' only lead was in the second quarter. The Ducks used a 9-0 run to take the lead back for good. They led by as many as a dozen, and they win it by the count of 64 to 56. Dropping the Lopes to a record of two and one, tagging them with their first loss, and the Ducks will now head back to Eugene.